So if you've ever wondered how to add a related posts section to your blog posts, today I'm going to show you exactly how to set this up using Generate Blocks Pro. All right, here on my site, I have a blog post set up and designed. And at the very bottom here, after the article, is where I really want to insert that related post section so that um, it'll really engage the reader to keep reading more and stay on your website longer, right? So um, adding a way for them to continue to stay on your site is always a good thing. So how we're gonna achieve this is by adding a new element in Generate Press and adding a query loop with custom uh, parameters set up so it pulls in related posts. So we're going to come to our back end, go to Appearance Elements, we're going to add a new element and we're going to choose the block element and hit create. Now we need a title, so we'll say related posts loop. All right. And so now we'll go ahead and design out this related post uh, query loop. So we need to first add a container. We'll add an inner container. Um, I will add some, some padding, oops, we'll go 80, 20, 20, 80. We can go ahead and well, maybe let's add um, the same background blue that's in our uh, blog hero section. And then we'll first add a headline and we'll say continue reading. Make this white so we can see it, of course and learn how to spell. <laughs> All right, so next we're going to go ahead and insert the query loop. So I always like to kind of just start out with one of these default query loop layouts. Um, and since we are going to utilize a featured image, I'm gonna choose this option uh, that pulls in the featured image for us. All right, so by default, you'll see um, it kind of creates a query loop set up for you based on that layout. It's two by two with four, four posts total. Um, we actually only want to show, let's say, probably three posts. And then what we'll do is jump into our grid and then the post template container. And we're going to change the grid item width to 33%. This will allow all three of our posts to show on one single line. All right, so now let's go ahead and jump into the design of this query loop. I want to actually kind of mimic a little bit of the design that I have here in the hero section with some border lines. Um, so let's go ahead and choose our post template. And I'm going to clear out the background color. I actually do not want a background color on it. Um, then let's go to borders and let's say uh, three pixel border on top, three pixel border on bottom, and we're going to choose those to be white. All right, next we can take a look at, again, on the post template container, come to our padding and let's actually zero out the padding on here. Uh, we don't want all the way around, so we're just going to 20 on top, 20 on bottom. And now the image, we want to set some parameters on the width and height of these images so that they're more consistent. As you can see right now, they're kind of wonky. So um, let's say 250 on the height and object fit cover. All right, and so if we go ahead and look at this, you, you'll notice the image dynamic data is already enabled for you because we chose the pre-made layout. Um, so it's current post featured image. All right, so now the title, um, we're actually gonna change these to H3. Uh, we'll say, turn that white. Oh, it's a link, right? So turn it white, we can hover a slight gray color. Um, all right, now the date, I actually want the date to go above the title. So this we're going to change to white as well. Let's lower this margin bottom to about 16 pixels. Um, the image has about 
30 on bottom. Let's go like 16 on there as well. The H3 title, I know I'm jumping around here, just kind of tweaking things as I see fit. Um, let's bring this down to about 24, and we want this to be bold. All right, and now we have the post excerpt. Go to the dynamic data settings. Um, we're just gonna say about 40. Um, and then we're going to disable the read more link. I don't really prefer that myself. Um, and then what we'll do is we can go ahead and add a button. So we'll say read article. And this one will then need to style. So we'll put this as a white button on hover. It'll turn dark gray. We'll do the dark gray text. And yeah, that works out for me. Uh, spacing, let's go ahead and tweak this as well. 20 is good, 20 is good with six on the bottom. Margin, let's go mm, 16 or so on that. Um, we need to come back to our excerpt. Actually, I forgot. We wanted to really want to make it smaller. It's way too big for me. We can even go about 14 pixels, and then we need to change the text color to white as well. All right, um, now next, I want to just even out these cards to be more equally, uh, equal height. Um, so on the post template, I'm gonna say 100% height, and automatically that's going to make them all the same height regardless of length of the title. And then on the button, we're gonna say um, margin top, actually let's say auto. And we actually then need to go back to our post template here and change this to flex, choose column, left align contents. Uh, and now that button is gonna stick to the bottom for us. And again, I wanna come in here and just change this button font size to be a little bit smaller. And let's go ahead and make the font weight semi-bold. All right, and then on our post excerpt, I do wanna add a little bit of bottom margin let's say uh, 16 pixels there so all right we've got equal height cards we've got our buttons stick to the bottom regardless of length of the title um, so our design is in place we'll go ahead and save the draft real quick and now comes the portion where we need to set up the query parameters so that it pulls in the related posts for us as well as tell it where we want this whole block to even show up. All right, so we'll jump into the query loop block here on the left-hand sidebar, and we're going to add a parameter. And in this parameter, we're going to choose taxon taxonomy, excuse me. And under taxonomy, uh, you have a few different options here, but for the sake of this tutorial and how we want to set up our related posts, what we're wanting to do is only show posts that are related to the same category, right? So if we come to our post here, um, let's see, where's my category? I'm not even sure where my category is. Oh, there it is. Categories, generate blocks. And so what we want is on this generate blocks post, we only want the related posts to show other generate blocks posts as well. So we're going to choose categories and then we're going to choose current post terms. So that's going to tell it the current post that we're viewing. That's what we want the same post to show. And then we want to actually exclude posts and we're going to say exclude current post. So what that does is allows this query loop to show related posts to the one you're looking at, but not show the same one you're already read. Um, so it'll exclude that current post you're viewing and show you every other related post. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and save the draft once again. And now what we need to do is come up to our element settings and under hook name, we need to choose where we want this to display within our layout of our blog posts. And so if we come on down to 
after main content. That should be the ticket for us to be able to show this block after all the main content of our blog. Now, last but not least, we need to choose the location so now it knows to show up on our posts. So we can say post, all posts, and now we'll go ahead and hit publish. We'll come to our blog posts, refresh, and now come down here, and we'll see. We now have our related posts section. And so what this is, is it's only showing one, right? Because we set this up to show three, but because this is just a demo site that I use for my tutorials, I only have six blogs in total, and only two of them are actually categorized under generate blocks. So what's happening is since it's not showing the current posts that we're already reading about generate blocks, it's showing the one and only other blog posts with the generate blocks category. All right, so now what you can also do in the filtering of your query block is you can also show uh, related posts that are written by the same author. And so what we would do is delete this taxonomy and add a parameter, come down to authors, and you could say current post author. So then we would update, come to our posts once again, and now you see it's updated with all the posts um, because of course I am the only author of all the blog posts. <laughs> so what's that going to do though? If you have multiple authors on your site that are contributing blogs, um, it will only show the related posts that are written by that same author. And again, we left exclude current posts because we never want to show the reader the same posts they're already have read. All right, so that was the walkthrough of how to add a related post section to your blog posts using Generate Blocks Pro and Generate Press. Uh, take a look at the query loop settings and parameters because I've really only showed you two of probably the most popular uh, ways to filter your posts, but you can actually combine them uh, so that you can show filter by author and within a date range, or you could also filter it by tags. Um, so take a look at all of those parameters. You really have a ton of options to choose from and really narrow down the type of content you want to show on your related blog post section. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.